All right, so I just got back home from school and I just got an email from YouTube saying, important changes coming to YouTube, you need to take action. So when I finished reading, it was talking about COPA. COPA stands for Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. And it's not just YouTube itself. It's the FTC, which is the US Federal Trade Commission and the New York Attorney General. Yikes. So what will happen is that all YouTubers will have to set their content if it's made for kids or if it's not made for kids. But here's the bad part as for example, if your channel is made for kids and has a kid's audience and set it up to not made for kids, then it may lead into a fine of $42,000 per violation as a penalty. So I'm going to break it down into a T-chart explaining the differences between if it's made for kids and not made for kids, starting off with made for kids. So in the made for kids section, they will have no community, no comments, no ads, no info cards, no end screens, no notification bell, no stories, and no money? What? That's just crazy. And for not made for kids, they will still have community, comments, ads, info cards, end screens, notification bell, and stories. Thank God that was close. So as for the subject of matter that is appealing to children, such as kids jokes, music, kids games, video or computer games, children's TV shows or stars, cartoon characters, sports, stories, toys, children books, fantasy, children's arts and crafts, pets, products primarily purchased or consumed by kids like snack food or cereal. So according to the FTC, that is the subject of matter that is appealing to kids under the age of 13, most likely including language and visual content appealing to children. So let's talk about the good news about COPA, which was updated in November 22nd. What if children watch your videos, but it's not meant to target kids? According to the FTC, your content isn't considered direct to children. Just because some children may see it, which means that is not exactly meant to target kids. For example, like family friendly channels, which children could actually watch it, which is actually a no problem. So what's the point of setting up COPA even if it has a YouTube Kids page? Well, according to the FTC, Google and YouTube will pay a record of 170 million to settle allegations by the Federal Trade Commission and the New York Attorney General that the YouTube video sharing service illegally collected personal information from children without their parents' consent. Therefore, the settlement requires Google and YouTube to pay $136 million to the FTC and $34 million to New York for violating COPA by far the largest amount the FTC has ever obtained. The authority hasn't just fought Google once, but more than twice by millions of dollars. So here's a chart of the major privacy judgments against Google. So it started off with FTC against Google back in 2012, which Google paid $22 million to settle FTC charges. Then in 2013, it was the US against Google, which Google paid $7 million. A year later, it was the Thailand authority against Google in 2014 which Google paid $1.4 million over Street View concerns. Then a few months ago, it was the French authority against Google with over $57 million, which was proposed. And now the FTC and New York Attorney General against Google and YouTube is going to be around $170 million. Okay, so enough with this whole information. So what's going to happen is that we need to take action now.